Hello everybody, my name is Hope and I'm a state holic. It's Easter Sunday 2020, so a happy Easter. And what I'm doing today is planting potatoes. I planted that half of my bed already with red norlings, as you see on my little tag, maybe. I don't know if you can see that or not. And these are my Kennebec, so I did something a little different. I laid them out this time where I kind of want them approximately where I'm going to plant them to make it easier for me to get them in the ground. And you can plant potatoes whole like this. You can even get a bag from the grocery store wherever you don't have to. I said in a previous video, go to a local nursery or like a, any place with a garden center and you get different varieties of potatoes, but you literally can use ones that you get at the grocery store and do the very same thing. They just need to have these eyes on them because when you plant them, you want this to face up because that's where the leaves will come and feed the, the potato, the seed potato, which this will become, to give you more potatoes. And as I said in the previous video, this is a brown skinned potato with white flesh. This one's good for baking, roasting, chips, fries. These, I don't know if they're organic or not, but I don't put any um, non-organic stuff in my um, beds. So I figure that's close enough. And those are red and white skinned ones. Um, which are uh, um, two of our favorites. And I'm looking for the brown skin, yellow flesh, and when I find them, maybe I'll do a third video for you guys. But even the beginner can do this. It just is literally dig a hole, pop it in, cover it up. That is it. I've got them spaced about six inches apart is in general, and um, they'll be about six inches apart in the rows when I pop them in as well. What are you putting on the trellis? On the trellis, I'm going to do sweet potatoes because these are two different genuses in phylum so they can grow next to each other. And I want the sweet potatoes to grow up a trellis because they like to climb and the leaves of the sweet potato are edible. Like if you guys grow your own sweet potatoes, take the greens, the leaves, a little garlic, salt and pepper and onion. Man, I'm telling you, it's delicious. So and I should move those away from the trellis? What's that? Your potatoes that are right up against the trellis? These will be gone by the time the sweet potatoes even get planted, so it's okay. Okay. Because um, sweet potatoes are can't be planted out till after Memorial Day here in Chicago, Zone 5B. They like hot? Very hot, like tomato, squash, peppers. Um, peppers. Okay. So, and then after, um, I'll be planting some string beans, some um, probably... Um, Kentucky pole beans, but they don't need very much space, so you don't have to move the potatoes for them. They're going to climb that trellis immediately as soon as they sprout, and they're going to shade these a little bit, which will be good. Do you have anything planned for this trellis that will actually use the full eight-foot height? I'm going to try and grow loofa gourds this year. So Yay. loofa, and which when they're young are edible, and then I'm going to try to make a couple of bath sponges and dish scrubbies for us as well. Do they come back? No, they are a summer, they are cucurbit, like a pumpkin or a squash, so hot, warm weather as well. And I might plant, um, I was given moonflower last year seed, and those are an annual, but they're for the nighttime pollinator, so I'm going to try and get a moonflower to grow on each side, so there's, and also, um, nighttime yard, pollinator, what's that? Um, like a bat. And I don't know, there's nighttime insects, um, certain moths like the night. Okay. And that'll give them some food as well. A lot of people think, oh, I plant in a pollinator garden, but they don't think about the pollinators that come out at night. White flowers that open at night are great for the nighttime pollinators, and that's what a moonflower is. Yay. <laughs> and that's all I got for this video, you guys. Blessings of bounty, and may your gardens and your lives always bring you joy, inspiration, and in these trying times, hopefully abundance. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.